Welcome back to new exercise. In this exercise, we will learn some advanced feature or technique to perform this of simple exercise. So let's start with this top view. All dimensions are in millimeter. Ribs fillet two millimeter. All fillet one millimeter. We will see. Now, if you see this top view, the outer radius fifty four, and there is one construction line, and that is the radius for these circles. Diameter twenty, outer, and there is a hole ten diameter, and there are three number of this kind of hole. One twenty is the center distance, and if you see here, the this bottom circular face width eight millimeter, and even in section view, section view like one twenty degree, you will see in section view ten millimeter is the depth. so let's do this activate top plane sketch now let me activate circle tool and i am going to draw two circles the outer one i'll make here for construction let's start now the outer one 55 into 2 it's 110 the inner one going to be 54 into 2 108 okay now let's do create line up to here activate circle and here draw two circles again activate the smart dimension the outer one shows 20 mm the inner one 10 mm circular pattern now here parameters i'll choose this center point and entities to pattern let me select these two lines as well as this center line here make sure equal spacing and instances number of instances keep 3 you will see and rest keep as it is now see this is fully defined this sketch now it's time to extrude now first in selected contour choose the bottom this center part and here keep end condition blind from keep as it is and uh, because this is going to start from the same plane 8 mm this depth say okay drop down this menu choose or select sketch one then again press extruded boss base now here in selected contour okay keep end condition blind depth 10 mm in selected contour we have to choose this look see okay now if i am going to choose this end fillet keep constant size fillet age selected tangent propagation symmetric and the radius going going to be 5 mm if i keep my cursor near to the edge it will show you all the edges even hidden edges see i don't need to rotate the model just keep cursor near edge say okay now if you see the radius 5 mm now the what next the next is going to be add these rod 25 upper one 51 from bottom surface and what is the diameter for this uh, see the outer one 42 inner one 34 okay select this face sketch activate circle and here draw two circles a smart dimension the outer one 42 and the inner one 34 okay extruded boss base now here first go to selected contour and choose outer circle now this depth how much 
let's try some advanced method to do this but this dimension is start from bottom face so here we comes start from i'll choose surface and here if you select fa surface face plane and select bottom face now these going to start from bottom to top 51 mm say okay again drop down and select sketch to again click extruded boss base in selected contour this time i am going to choose inner one okay and the height is 25 mm but it is going to start from so choose surface face plane this one see this is going to start from here and the depth 25 mm look perfectly we did now if you saw in section view there is a one hole 25 then bottom you will see 70 mm this hole and depth 4 and then one more depth 90 dm depth 2 so this one 4 plus 2 6 so there is three depth we have to make this okay A sketch circle activate circle and here draw three circles the smart dimension the outer one 90 the middle one 70 and the last one 25 activate extruded cut now here more than two close profile so it will ask you which one you want to keep so first keep blind the first one we will keep 2 mm and i am going to select don't select any region select edge or line you will see this is going inside only 2 mm again select the sketch then activate extruded cut again this time i am going to select the second line depth 2 plus 4 it's 6 mm again select the same sketch extrude cut and the last one i am going either in last one either choose line or region no problem because inside there is no more and for this condition you can simply choose through all so that it's going to cut up to through all let me do this so that it makes easy for us to look now let's come to center part now at center see 28 mm 25 mm diameter outer 31 inner 19 mm and inner one this is a hole you will see here in section view then you will see distance 19 mm from here there is one more circular 20 and hole 10 and there is inside hole 6 mm these dimension remember and this diameter 9 point radius 9.5 means diameter 18 mm okay and you will see this width 44 even in this view also you will see 44 mm so this is quite tricky so let's try to do front plane sketch activate circle smart dimension 32 and here we will add line why we are going to add we need for reference that's why we are going to add 45 and this line length 19 mm this is very useful for us now the depth 28 and the center distance from origin point 25 mm see this is fully defined this sketch activate extruded boss base now here keep end condition mid plane and the depth 44 say yes look now 
what we will do again show sketch plane now first reference choose plane now the second reference choose point the point of end line you will see preview this is going to be create a tangent a perpendicular to this line say okay sketch the plane circle and the diameter of this circle is 20 draw circle 20 millimeter okay now where is the point select center point hold shift key the center point coincide oh look this is fully perfectly mess extrude keep reverse and here choose up to next if we choose up to next this circle project up to the surface of this because this is the next surface for this look now let's add some hole here so i am going to start from here sketch and these 9.5 into 2 it's 19 millimeter now activate extruded cut and keep end condition through all even if you choose through all through all means up to end of body so better to keep next next means this is the face select this face sketch circle draw one circle smart dimension and the keep diameter 10 millimeter and here we need to make one constraint on relation hold shift key select these two circles outer and inner and make constraint cocentric look it's black means fully defined sketch come extruded cut and in this case also we will choose direction or end condition to next next means this inside wall this is going to be the next say yes look now here one face but before going to add face there is a one ribs 10 millimeter front plane sketch line connect up to okay don't go up to this you just connect simply up to here select this outer line convert entity okay vertical make sure this is also going to be vertical choose this line and this tangent similarly choose this line and this arc tangent see it seems fully defined if you want to trim activate power trim power just hold press left mouse and drag it is trimmed okay now from here you can extrude depth is 12 millimeter but keep end condition mid plane look if you see inside there is too many things let me hide this sketch now we need this sketch go to direct editing right click and activate direct editing delete face even you can search command and you will see this option delete face here choose delete and patch here choose the face look we don't want this all just simply delete show look all clean from inside nothing remaining 
Okay, there is one hole. Select the line, plane, and select the top point or end point of this, and you will see a perpendicular plane going to create on this point. Say okay. A sketch on this plane, circle. Find out the point. Okay, this this is the point, and these inside radius you see six millimeter. and we in activate extruded cut and keep here through all up to bottom face say yes click line sketch hide and let me hide all planes see if we see section view okay look this is what we want to achieve this hole this hole and this hole now here let's add this hole you will see 9 diameter then there is a one hole 8 diameter and uh, you will see in this view even you will see in this view Width forty four millimeter. So half of this twenty two. Remember this. Then we have to create a rib. This rib depth five millimeter. But before going to create a one plane on that, and that is one twenty degree. So remember this one. We will try to do this. And this rib height thirty one from bottom. And this is going to coincide with this. face and uh, we need we have only two rib here because the third one we already created okay the distance for this 40 mm you will see front plane sketch activate circle tool now the radius 9 into 2 it's 18 distance from bottom it's 41 still there is a few thing still balance to define hold shift key or select origin point and center point make vertical now here the catch extrude now we don't want to create any more body from inside so here we will use start from offset and the offset distance i'll choose 22 reverse and here select up to next look our sketch inside but we move 22 mm offset outside and then move up to next what is the next for this this body say okay and look this is going to be simply let's mirror this plane drop down and choose front plane feature to mirror already selected say yes now select outer face sketch and here we can create a hole Eight diameter. Hold Shift key, select both inner and outer circle, co-centric relation. This is fully defined. Activate extruded cut. Now in this condition, I am going to choose up to surface. What is the command? I'll choose this one. Look, the hole is created up to that end. Okay. Now. i am going to activate the first sketch show because we need this because we have to create a rib and for rib we need this and from here activate temporary axis plane now first i am going to choose this center plane uh, axis of this center one the second reference i am going to select this point this line point 
now you will see a plane going to create on this line because this is lies on 120 degree say ok now sketch on plane activate line tool now start from this point to this exactly activate the smart dimension and distance from bottom it's 31 millimeter now this is going to be a rib so simply activate go to feature rib 5 millimeter and here choose thickness both side flip direction because it should be moved towards the main body say ok and here you will look let me hide everything hide plane hide a sketch even let me hide temporary axis here the things created now one more important thing let's activate circular pattern first feature let me choose this rib you can directly choose rib and direction so i am going to choose this one because we need and here the thing equal spacing angle do not keep 360 only 120 degree because we want to keep we want two instances so you will see the preview say ok look we created two now here it's come to more dimensions like here chamfer 2 by 45 degree ribs fillet 2 millimeter now ribs fillet see here 2 millimeter is written the corner fillet of this R1 and uh, these rib also here see this one R2 and this corner R1 and rest it is written all fillets 1 millimeters. Now select the outer edge chamfer keep here angle distance type edge we already selected full preview tangent. 2 millimeter 45 degree say yes look fillet constant size radius 2 millimeter and let's choose age so these are the ages what we are going to choose now inside there is one vertical age also there okay now these rib vertical and horizontal edge that's it okay okay this side also okay this side also finish say okay now rest all 1 millimeter so again activate constant type put radius 1 millimeter symmetric and uh, select one by one all the edges these see comes here select this even hidden edges you can also activate I think we selected all the necessary edges where we required say yes and that is it even if you want to highlight some holes so simply choose these holes appearance brushed that is it I hope you like it do not forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching